Hello, welcome to this demonstration video on using the clove hitch knot to secure drains. Um, we will be using a large drain and this large tie as well in order to simplify the demonstration of this technique. As you can see, we have already secured it to our mock-up of skin and we will proceed by placing the drain in between the ties. Now, for the first tie, we will cross the threads and we'll notice that one lies above the other. For the one that lies below, we will take one finger and hook it onto that tie. Then we shall bring that tie behind and the end of this will then go into the loop we have saved. Once we've done that, both ends are pulled taut and then we are able to see the characteristic clove of the clove hitch. We have finished our first clove hitch. Now, to commence the rest, we can put both ties behind the drain, cross them at the back, and once again, we are left with two ties at the front. When we cross these once more, again, we will notice that one tie is underneath the second. And once more, we shall use one finger to hook, to create a loop. When this, uh, when the, the inferior tie is taken round the back and then poked through, the hole that we created and then both ends are made taut and pulled again forming one more clove hitch. This process can then be repeated further with ties alternating or the same but with the same concept of having the inferior tie having one finger to uh, creating a loop which the uh, which the the inferior tie can be poked through once it finishes its way around and yes we now have another clove hitch tie this knot is particularly helpful in securing circumferential objects. In sailing it is used um, when uh, uh, more tension is required or when, or, when, uh, secure, or when securing circular objects is required and this knot strengthens with any further tension of the actual ties themselves. Alterations or variations of this technique can include uh, can include finishing off each clove with a standard reef knot for further security prior to proceeding with the next one. So once again they're crossed at the back getting the inferior tie, hooking your finger whilst taking this inferior tie around the back and then poking this inferior tie into the space that we created and then securing once more by tensioning both ties. So this will create another clove hitch. And we, we can finish this one off with a standard reef. And we have our secure drain. This is not going anywhere at all. Thank you for watching.